I'm officially married guys, officially out of the market Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel My wedding, I literally introduced my wedding like a shock to everyone because But thereafter I had to like, you know, you guys should ask me a Q and a What you wanna know and all of that And I literally did not announce my engagement, I did not announce introduction, nothing, I just post my wedding card and everyone was like esther you're getting married no that's not true i thought you don't believe in love blah, 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 blah. so you guys have so many questions and i gave you guys the opportunity to ask and ask so i'm gonna deliver for those of you that don't follow me on instagram i'm sorry you you're missing first question i have here is how do you guys meet i wrote it down guys because it's my phone i'm using basically so, we met through a friend when I was in my lowest, there was a friend of mine that knew that I was single. And he was like, Esther, you gotta be in a relationship. You gotta be in a relationship. You don't need to be single. And uh, singleness is not good. I was like, I don't trust men. And he was like, no, this guy is good and all of that. So this was how he gave the guy my Instagram ID. Then we just started talking on Instagram. I'll show you guys the first message. Then from there, things started going, 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 going. And yeah. This is where I landed us too. So the next question is, so you can love like this. I was thinking you are not interested in love anymore. <laughs> okay. If you know, before this wedding and everything, I never posted no guy. Those that those people that know me know that I was really in a very toxic relationship with my ex. Not the ex before the person before this, no. My first relationship, I really had a very bad experience. And because of that, I just decided to stay in my lane. Like, it's not that I was not dating though. I was dating, but I was not, I was not like over the relationship. And I just kept standing low because I said to myself that if there is no ring in the finger, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be dedicated to the relationship. Like, I'm not going to, you know, make it obvious. Even before we actually got married, I did not introduce him to my parents. So I was not introducing any guy to parents, friends, family members, nothing. It was like I don't sick, something like that, but not really I don't sick because I'm of age. But I just decided to keep my relationship life on a low but I have so much love in my heart. Like, if I love you, I'm going to overdose you with love. I can spend my last money on you. The question is, where did you guys meet? And how? I said that before. That was the first question. But this is from another person. We met through a friend. So, when we were talking, so, after from a lot of talk, we started talking 12 of February 2021. That's when we started talking. So when we started talking, then we decided to go on a date. At first, I was not serious with the old thing because I was just thinking, nothing serious. But with so much, so much interest and all, I was like, okay, let me see where this is going to lead to. Let me be a little bit dedicated to the relationship. And yeah, I made the right choice. I made the right choice. So the other question is. Have it been long you guys started dating? Okay. We started talking 12th of February. But I think things started getting serious around... Things started getting serious like two months later. So, let me say it's a year and some months. Let me just say next year February is going to make it two years, probably. I don't know, but I know at the beginning of the whole talk... We are really I was really not serious about the whole thing. But after two months, I think before I was like more dedicated to the conversation and everything. So is a year plus a year and some months. Next year is gonna make it two years that we have been together. So the next question is will you go back to Nigeria for the wedding? Okay, guys, you guys don't know. I already had my wedding yeah because i was so busy that's why i did not film this video on time i had my introduction 7th of sorry i had my introduction 11th of september 2022 i had that's when i had my introduction in nigeria yeah because that's what my dad suggested like we should do it in nigeria 
and i had my i wrote everything down so i will not forget and i had my traditional wedding 7th of october yep yeah. in my parents house no in my grandmother's house <laughs> i'm gonna show the video of the wedding guys and everything so you guys will not just think i'm just coming to crack jokes and yeah that was it so this is the last the last question i literally put this question in the last because a lot of people was over this question like more than one person that asked this question so that's why i just put it in the last but it's literally like the most asked question is not like why are you getting married to ellen why are you getting married to ellen First and foremost, what is early for you? What is early for you? Okay, guys, if you don't know, I was born 20... Sorry, I was born 23rd of April 2000. That automatically means that I'm 22 years old. Yeah, I'm 22 years old. And I'm Nigerian. So, let's go to the topic. What is your own definition of young? Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm in my early 20s, right? Yeah, I know that. But I'm literally 22. By next year, April, I will be 23. So, what's your definition of young? Getting, for me, getting married at the age of 21, 22, 23 to 25 is just like the perfect age. And also... <sighs> If you if you're Nigeria, like you're more than 20, 25, you know you they will start giving pressure. Go and bring a man, go and bring a man. Before that 25, you're supposed to leave your father's house. You grab. Not that I was staying there because I was already in school. But this is this is what I'm saying. For me, I did not yes, I got married young, but not literally young, young, young. And he said, okay, let's go again. He said, Why are you getting married? Okay, what's my reason? Because when you see the right no when you see someone that is ready to be dedicated to some to you you grab the person you know marriage does not stop your life your life only stop when you want it to stop yeah the only thing i feel marriage stopped is for me for you to jump from one guy to another that's the only thing marriage stop and some people will be like oh when you are married is different from when you are dating because it's going to like be in constrain you like don't go out these 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 for me it's just a matter of understanding that is really not a big deal and if your man trusts you you trust your man you can say okay go out but come by this time or wherever and stuff like that it's just a matter of understanding so for me marriage does not affect that the whole thing is tough as i said before is that you are not dedicated to one person. The rest of that thing is zero because the rest of that thing, understanding is going to, you know, cover up. And it depends on the kind of person you get married to. If you get married to someone that even when you guys are dating, he's it, always controlling you. <laughs> when you get, when you pay your bride price, he's going to say that, oh, I bought you. Even if the money is just 25 naira, 24 naira, it's going to tell you that, but marriage does not stop one's life the only thing it stops is you are not dedicated to one person and sometimes it's good to in my own opinion this is what i'm saying sometimes it's good to get married early so you guys grow together like grow together have, share experience together uh, build um a uh, foundation for yourself your future children together and all of that so Anyways, everyone have the way they want to live their life. But for me, 22 is not a bad age to get married. Yeah, 22 is not a bad age to get married. So I am married. It did not stop my life. Like, I'm still going to school. I'm still going to school and I'm still going to continue. Even if I start having kids, if I'm done with my school, quite all right. But if I'm not done, I'm still going to go to the school and work and yeah we're just gonna live together and enjoy our life together and i'll be like yeah this is my man this is my husband this is not my boyfriend that's the only thing i'm saying in the whole thing so marriage doesn't stop my life and i'm happy that i'm married yeah and i'm proud of it now you guys need to be calling me mrs not longer esther 
I'm proud that I'm married. Like I can boldly say in public that that's my husband. I put some respect to my name because that's my husband. So guys, this is it. And of course, yeah, I'm married. I'm part of the market. And you guys are going to be seeing, oh, before I forgot, you guys are going to be seeing her small her phone. Yeah, it's not yet now because my husband, oh, I like that name, husband. <laughs> my husband is not yet back from work. So, but anyhow, more like in future, you guys are going to, this channel is mostly going to be about horse, maybe prank stuff, seeing him. It's a, it's a camera shy person. Let me tell you all that. Is a camera shy person, but I'm going to make him to come to the camera. I'm going. You guys should blow this video off, so I'll make him come to the camera. But no, he don't like talking on camera. Her phone is just like a close person. It's good because me, I'm very loud. My mouth is yeah. So it's better for me to be with someone that is, you know, more calm. Because if I'm hot, it's hot. <laughs> what kind of children we're we gonna give birth to? E. I don't know. So yeah, guys, this is it. And I'm married. I'm married. And so, guys, that's it for this video. And if you guys want to see him, like if you guys want us to come here to talk and all of that, blow this video up, share the video with friends, family, everyone. And yeah, married man. I love you all and see you guys in my next video. Stay blessed. Bye bye.